Hey, this is Russ. You know, the thing I believe that actually started the whole knee problem was martial arts. Yep, I've mentioned this before, that it was Taekwondo that messed me up. <laughs> and I remember, too, getting uh, uh, several people who didn't like the fact that I was talking negative about martial arts. But uh, let, me, let me tell you a little bit about this whole thing with the martial arts thing. Okay, I can, I can actually remember back when I believe my meniscus is tore. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm, I'm going to say around, let's say 15 years old, <laughs> something like that. I remember doing uh, some jump kick and then landing on my, my uh, feet and feeling this major impact going up my leg into my knee. I think that was the beginning of the first knee tear on the meniscus, and that would be on my left knee. Not really sure how the right knee got messed up, but I think, um, yeah, it's just a matter of time that thing was going to go. <laughs> so uh, what got me started into all this was obviously back at that time, um, we were talking the 1970s, um, the martial arts craze was just starting, you know, Bruce Lee and all that stuff. I, you know, I know a lot about Bruce Lee, and if, if you don't know the story behind it, I'll, I'll put a link on how I am actually three degrees away from Bruce Lee. <laughs> and you guys are actually four degrees. If you don't know what that means, watch that other video. I'll put a link up here so you can take a look at that one, <laughs> okay? But... Um, I remember going to to the movies uh, with my dad and my brother, and we went to see The Chinese Connection. Now, it's a little confusing because The Chinese Connection was originally called Fists of Fury. <laughs> and here in the United States, Fists of Fury was actually called The Big Boss. <laughs> it's so confusing. <laughs> but here in the U.S., Fists of Fury from Bruce Lee was was originally called The Big Boss. That was his first movie. And then he had another movie called Fists of Fury out in Asia, which they renamed and called The Chinese Connection. So my first experience to a Bruce Lee movie was The Chinese Connection. And I recall seeing him doing so many different things. Um, and, and I used to watch The Green Hornet when I was younger. And you may know that Bruce Lee played Cato on The Green Hornet. And I always felt that, man... Cato is so much better than a Green Hornet. <laughs> he does so much more. Green Hornet just kind of gets the glory of everything, but Cato did all the work. <laughs> Anyways, um, in the Chinese Connection, uh, he uses a martial arts weapon called the nunchaku, okay, which a lot of people now call the nunchucks. Yeah, it kind of looks like this. <laughs> yeah, this is a real one. <laughs> And um, I remember making um, a pair of nunchucks. We'll call them nunchucks since that's what everyone else seems to call them now. I remember making a pair out of uh, bamboo and putting, um, putting string between it because uh, original nunchakus or nunchucks um, are actually made with, with a, a nylon rope in between. And I made this and I even did a speech uh, in my, I think it was my junior year, in high school uh, talking about it and I, I did very high score on that speech too I think I got a 27 or 28 out of 28 points for my speech it was in speech class so I did a demonstration but anyways the the nunchaku is something that um, really got my interest and this set here I actually have two okay <laughs> I have two of these um, was actually given to me by uh, a Taekwondo instructor out in San Diego. Uh, I had so much interest in martial arts that I went back to, ta to Taekwondo uh, while I was older. And uh, I was probably late 20s, early, uh, just hitting 30, something like that. And I made the decision uh, to go back to, to the school. Um, I made a deal with the uh, Taekwondo instructor. I said, hey, look, if you let me come in and take classes with you, um, and not pay, I will make videos and photography, do photography for you. So he thought about it. He said, yeah, well, let, let's do that. So um, going to the school there, doing all those things, um, I made a decision that I would be making a martial arts video. <laughs> so I said, you know, I, I want to go visit a bunch of different martial arts schools out in the, in the San Diego area, get some different styles. And I produced a video called the Martial Arts Video Forum. <laughs> 
never went anywhere, but I did make a nice uh, video. It was about a 30 minute video. And uh, so I got to, to know a number of the various martial artists out in San Diego. And uh, before I was ready to move back to the Chicago area, um, you know, I told them all I was moving back. And one of the instructors says, well, I feel so bad that you're leaving. And he says, let me, let me give you a bunch of stuff. Uh, and he gave me uh, a pair of um, these nunchaku, which is uh, with, with a swivel. It has a swivel, actually. It spins here. It has a swivel here. And, of course, it's got chains. Now, technically speaking, you know, you can't use this anywhere on the street. <laughs> and at that time, the police were coming out with their... Uh, I think Orcut is the company that manufactured the police nunchaku. Um, not, never really became that popular. I don't see uh, too many police officers with it, although I did see it at the time. They were starting to get involved with it. But it had a smaller ch uh, chain. Actually, they don't use a chain. They use a nylon rope on theirs. Uh, but it's shorter than this. Okay. So, um, yeah. <laughs> this is the things that got me started with martial arts. And to this day, I still have interest in this. Let me show you another thing that was given to me. Um, when I was younger, and I was taking care of my sister at the time, she's younger than me by five years, um, my dad says, you know, if you watch your sister, because, you know, my mom and dad worked, and I don't know where my brother was. I think maybe he was doing summer school, I think, or something like that. So he says, if you, uh, if you watch, watch your sister, I will bear you, buy you a pair of sai which is this stuff here. You've probably seen these before, this type of thing, right? I mean, do you guys watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Come on. <laughs> so he says, I will buy you a pair of Psy if you watch your sister for the, for the uh, summer. So I did, and he bought me a pair of Psy, okay? And I, I always thought that this was um, an interesting weapon, all right? Um, but the problem with these... Um, is that uh, it's it's not made very well. I mean, it is metal, right? It it, it is metal, and um, but if you if you hit something hard enough, you would actually bend this blade. <laughs> so the materials was not really made for for much. Is this it's more of a showpiece than actual weapon? Okay, and it is blunt on the top. Let me show you here. This is it is actually a blunt tip. It's not really sharp. All right, so. I said to myself, one of these days, I'd like to get a custom-made one so that it's actually the right size to my arm, okay, because it's, it's measured directly for that. And, you know, I never did until <laughs> years later <laughs> when I was, I don't know how old was I, maybe 52, 53 years old. I said, yeah, I'm going to get one. Not that I was still doing anything, so I, I actually ordered a pair of these. These are uh, custom made to my size, okay? I don't know if you can see these things, but they're custom designed for my size. They fit my arm perfectly. They extend a little bit past your elbow because you can do elbow strikes with it, right? And um, these are not sharp either, but it's a lot pointier than the other one, <laughs> okay? And uh, custom made, um, and this is pointed too. And this fits just a slightly longer than your finger because you you can jab with this stuff, right? So I uh, I decided to get a custom made pair. Now these are made well. These aren't going to bend, <laughs> and yeah, they're kind of expensive. But you know, it is something that I had an interest in. And even though these are the things that really messed my, my knees up and, and stuff, I still have an interest in martial arts. So I just wanted to bring that out. Okay, so all right, one more thing. Although I, I won't, well, maybe I'll show it to you. Yeah, I'll show it to you. Sit tight, let me go grab this. All right, I am back. All right, let me show you this. <laughs> now, it's obviously a little too long to show the entire thing here. But yeah, <laughs> this is a samurai sword. Okay, now this is a display model. This is not sharp. Yeah, see, I can do this. It's, it's not sharp, <laughs> but I do have sharp ones, <laughs> right? So I do have a sharp one, uh, and I also have uh, a small one called a Tonto, which is a shorter blade version, which is also very sharp. Those will cut, those will cut really good. <laughs> um, so I, yeah, I have the one that's uh, not sharpened, uh, on display, I usually leave it out. There's a sheath that goes with it, and it's on a, uh, a stand as well. 
I'll put a photo up here so you can actually see what that looks like. But um, yeah, so when did I buy these? I bought these <laughs> a couple years ago, not, not too long ago. So I will say this, all right, for those who were not happy with the fact that, you know, they felt I was bashing martial arts. No, I still have an interest in it. And um, I, uh, <laughs> even at my age, I still have an interest in getting things like this. Now, obviously, I'm not going to use this for anything. This is more a display thing. And the real ones, too, yeah, you can use it, but I'm not going to use it for anything. It's, it's, it's also for display. It's, it's always in the sheath. It's not out for you know, where you can actually see the blade and everything like that. But uh, yeah, you got to have one out, right? And if you're going to display it, yeah, you want you want to display a, um, you want to display a, a, a non sharpened version. <laughs> yeah, that's the craziness of my life, right? Things that mess you up, but yet you still have an interest in it. Anyways, just want to share these things with you. If you have an interest in any of these things, go ahead and check out a local martial arts school. But I will tell you this, be very careful with your joints. And uh, if you have kids and you're, you're thinking of putting them in there too, it's a good form of exercise. Uh, always good to have some self-defense skills, but be aware that sometimes we do some extreme things and yeah, you can pay the price down the road. So that's, that's what happened to me. Anyways, if you like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all those things, and I will talk to you guys next time.